the episode of A and B TV. It's me, Crazy Low Birdie G. Yes, and we sir. got a special guest today, De Niro Stats. What up with it, D? You know what I'm saying? This is the the homie. Been down for a long time, you know what I'm saying? And we finally got him on the show. What's up, man? You got it, my G. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I know you understand the conditions of the show. You've seen it. Yeah. You know I'm saying? We need to ask you a question per nugget. Yeah. And, hey, before we get any further, jump down, slap your mama, no, please. Just like and subscribe. Come on, one time for the one time. <laughs> no. But to start us off, question for question, we got slap your mama hot sauce. We only go do the hot sauce, not to actually slap your mama. But anyway, send me the video. The okay, neural stacks. Is, camera, right? Uh, yeah, we'll send it to the side. Yeah. Maybe, uh, Anyway, De Niro, you know what I'm saying? Uh, How you well, been? How you well, been? Well, wait, 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 wait. We got to get the first wing going. Oh, we're going to do the yeah, top right yeah, there. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Okay. We got to add. It's a nugget. All right. Third question. De Niro. Slap your mama. Slap your mama. This is what we finna do. All right. All right. Y'all ready? Salute. Let's do this. Mm. Slap your mama's always good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So De Niro, what's it like being in? What was it like coming from Bozo, like, mm. getting them, getting into everything? You know? <laughs> Man, you'd be, you'd be surprised. You wouldn't think that you would get into drugs and gang banging and jail mm-hmm. and and uh, drugs like smoking. You know some. Powerful shit, you know. I was yeah. into that shit. Yeah. Uh huh. So coming from Bowley, man, you know, um, more out there in the small towns than you think there is. Yeah. That's real. It's, 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 it's how small it is Bowley, like you man. Know it's saying? probably about as let's see, about as big as a city block, you know. Yeah. You were missing. It. <laughs> you know, how long was you down there before you even came up, bro? See, I was born and raised in Bowley. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Um, and once I graduated high school. I started venturing out, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, then I went to Kansas City for about six years, you know what I'm saying? Right. Hit Oklahoma City again, you know, that's where I've been at. But Bowley, though, it was also good, though, because I was um, into the country life, you know, I rode mm-hmm. horses. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Nothing wrong with it. Did all that that stuff too. Lifestyle, yeah, man. I did all that stuff too, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was some good times down there. I still got family yeah. back home down there. You got a lot of family up there too? Yeah, a lot of family up there in yeah. Oklahoma City, man, yeah. A lot of family in Kansas City, Missouri, uh, Minnesota, you know. Um, yeah, man. You got family everywhere. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> Shit, that's what's up. I guess well, we'll, shoot, let's keep it on rolling. I guess we'll get to the second one. Uh, what, we got, what we got, man? Rocky's garlic sauce. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Hot sauce, but uh, I guess we'll have friends to do them. Mm. Okay, man. Woo! Salute. Oh, that's that garlic sauce. That shit's good. Mm-hmm. Right off the bat. Cause new music, man. You know, anything going on? I see you on on the web and shit, making your moves and shit. Videos. What's, all what's, the like, what's it like with the new thing you got going on? Mm. Consistency, man, has been the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. When it comes to this right now. Yeah. The this new era. Yeah. yeah. So I just been taking a little skills I've learned, you know, over the years. You know what I'm saying? And just yep. I figured out you got to be consistent. Just that be awesome. mentality. Just stay on something, do something. You know, let nobody yourself. stop you. Go to a show, something. get on stage, you know what I'm saying? Get mm-hmm. your camera work going, do something, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Get your singles out. Hell yeah, yeah man. Do you still get nervous when you're on stage? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it comes and goes, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, I tried it one time, it's, it's, man, um, I froze. It's <laughs> more like because, because <laughs> me, it's like I'm in a routine. Right. Uh-huh. So that's where my nerves come in at. My routine, like damn, don't skip your breathing points. Right. Make mm-hmm. sure you're moving. You gotta make sure you get back over here because remember you planned to do this when you yeah. get at this point. Right. So right. that's uh-huh. when the nervousness come in at because you're trying to remember not only your lines but your move. You know, some yeah. people just get on stage and they yeah, stand there the whole more. time. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get involved but with the crowd. You get involved with the crowd. You know, mm-hmm. move and still keep your. Do you like the stage or like being in front of the people? Like how sometimes us, you know, see you uh, know, No, I want the stage because stage. I move because I move, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I want people I want to see people head doing this. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? That's what's so, up. That's what's up. Yeah. I'd rather have a stage. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. And plus when you in the when you in the crowd, you know, and I see how artists get in the crowd, get with people, you know, it's cool, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah. But me, I think that that's just more of a I can't see you now. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You down there, you know. Mm-hmm. So I can hear you. Hey, like some artists be making it seem like they're trying to get in tune with the audience. And mm-hmm. shit, but, you know. I, think, I, think, I think it's something that you should just kind of pull then, out every now and then, not every single yeah, time you yeah. go on stage. Yeah, I, I noticed that a lot about people. They love to 
go to the crowd, you know, mm-hmm. like, nah, stay. Right, stay. right, right. They're right. supposed you, to see you. Yeah. They're supposed to be, they supposed to be doing Well, this. like you said, you, your videos, you got yeah. people recording you now, you yeah. got the crowd, yeah, they yeah, ain't yeah, no good. Yeah, you can't see, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I did that. That's what I'm saying. saying. That's some good advice, you know Yeah, yeah, man, see, y'all listening? You know y'all need to be listening, y'all hear presence. It's free game, y'all. I guess we get to the third wing, man. Yeah, what we got for number three? We got some new shit, some hellfire, hot sauce, chocolate, cherry, hell. Oh yeah, this is new to the lineup, y'all. Yeah, so we yeah, finna get into boy. that shit. Ooh, chocolate, it's and other chocolate. It do, it's, it's like, it look like a dark chocolate nugget. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> All right, so right, let's get into it. Hmm. Okay. I don't know, That's kind of... It scared me at first. It did. It hit my tongue, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought it was gonna be like a reaper hit. Right. For the Nero, man. What we got next? I know you love him and on the road when you be out there, man. It looked like you're <laughs> having a good ass time, man. Yeah, bro, we posting all these reels and videos. That's what I'm saying, like, from your point of view, how are you feeling about that, man? Mm. No, the so money the thing about that too. is, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, but it ain't. Yeah. Right, right. But, yeah, you know, it's it's right, it is. but the, this is the experience, mm-hmm. you know what I'm yeah, saying? So, I mean, yeah, it's good to make a few dollars here and there, but the experience, the experience of it, man, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just the. The atmosphere, the um, the feedback, you know, yeah. that energy you get. You, you, you hear there. from people that ain't your homies and shit. Yeah, and that's that, that's what makes a difference. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can but basically we all can put words together, yeah. but it, it takes other motherfuckers to tell that don't know you. Yeah, 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 that's how I, that's how it works. Be your biggest fans. Yeah, yeah. so and that's and it. Then and so and, and once you put the character on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Once you put your costume on, you get out there, you know, you show mm-hmm. people how you get down is, you know, they flock to it. So it feels oh, good to you because you walk in the building and they look at you. Yeah. <laughs> they have to look at straight you. Up, straight up, straight up. You like, oh, gotta keep that star mm-hmm. presence. <laughs> you know, <laughs> star top. presence going, you dig, and all that. But other than that, um, speak it into existence, man. Should but should we do the, the uh, uh, what? A wing, the next wing? Oh, yeah, it's a two part. You can ask me a two part question. Oh, okay. Eric, go for it. Check it out. What's it like working, working with the new niggas, Money Wave, man? Yeah, it's good, man. It's cool. Um, a lot of different versatile artists on there. Anything um, different that like came different to you when you started like the, you know venturing out and doing your own? I mean, trying to work with some people with new music. Yeah, uh, you started to see who's serious. Right, right, and who's right. not? You know what I'm saying? You you mm-hmm. figure out who's serious, and like you know that's one thing you got to realize. You got to yeah. pay attention and know who's really serious. Because mm-hmm. you'll be wasting your time, years wasting with motherfuckers. You just <laughs> yeah. ain't on that. You know, I know this You know what I'm saying? So, I can dig it, man. You gotta, you gotta be out here motivating yourself, David. Yeah, so the Money Wave team is good. You know, they they solid. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm digging it because I be seeing a lot of shit they got. Man. Oh yeah, they. Yeah, they, they shout out to Money Wave, man. I, I see them constantly you know post. <laughs> well, let's get into it. Uh, <laughs> what we got next? Blueberry. Guess we got the blueberry hellfire. Mm. Hey, this right here. This this hot sauce right here, bro. You can put this on ice cream, and it is delicious. And it is delicious. We did that. No shit. cap, y'all. No y'all cap. Y'all look back in the archives. Y'all see that shit. Mm-hmm. All right, but uh, without further ado, let's do this. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Tastes the reaper. Blueberry, blueberry, <laughs> blueberry. Let that reaper up. What we got now? What, we got what you got now? planned uh, next? I think you know what I'm saying. Like got the whatever. You got like a. New album you trying to put down. What's, what's 2023 well, going to have the store for you? I'm going to do an EP. Mm-hmm. I was going to do, do an album, but I want to do an EP first mm-hmm. with these tracks I got in the archive. Yeah, yeah. that's what's up. And then I'm going to, because I, I don't want to just sit there mm-hmm. and then go and get them out of the way. Hell yeah. So I'm going to do that and then hit them with the album. Okay, so next okay. year, that's what's coming album. EP will be coming out in about four months. All right, so y'all hear that? Uh, six to seven. That's what's up. Kind of like Bone did with the eight songs on. Yeah, yeah. on the come up. That's kind of cool. Though. But you uh, focus on that to show you more focus towards the music. Which I uh, wish already got trying to put out. Yeah. Trying to give like thirty songs. Like some artists, like oh, I gotta give you thirty Boy, songs. Like, like yeah. man. Yeah, just give keep, give us some good music. Put your yeah, time like into yeah. Just keep your work. your own little pace and shit. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I was we'll talking about. Yeah, see, some people we'll buy by head later. They just want to hear what you sound. They want to see if it's working. Yeah. So that's what's yeah. Up. So when you put mm-hmm. the EP out, you basically just let them know here, this is what's coming. Mm-hmm. This is just a sample of me. You know yes, what I'm sir. So 
Yes, sir. Well, I've never man. liked to see Mike Lyman a lot on the business, man. You can fuck around be a CEO here in a minute or something. Man, some, you know what they say, one door opens the next, man. Yep. The next, the next. So Have you it. ever thought about coming up with a little label on your own or something? Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a long way down the road. Though. Yeah. yeah, that's what's um, up. I like it. Yeah, I like it because hearing um, yeah. it's like you ain't trying to be out here. Oh man, I got my own label and you yeah, know this, that, the yeah. other. You know, next like, you know, you a rapper, you a CEO. Yeah, you yeah. Right now you everything. Yeah. You gotta you take those steps at a time. Yeah, you know, so, you know, you know, and you know, your group like fans that. be you like, man, you ain't been on there. You know, music is everything. CEO, singer, rapper. Yeah, they got the line. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? We know him. Well, shit. Let's get into it. Oh, uh, for the back here. Our hot sauce cranked. Woo! We're gonna be, we're gonna get it's about to get serious up in here. Extreme black garlic reaper sauce. So I've heard good things, even though this is one of the world's hottest sauces, like that, that black garlic that he just spoke on. I heard that made this sauce, even though it's really hot, that black garlic is supposed to be really good on it. That's what I'm saying. Told y'all we're gonna have a, a barbecue edition. Hopefully, Janelle will come through have some barbecue. Man, y'all my bro. Man, y'all my <laughs> yeah, day yeah. ones. It's not like somebody else. See, y'all my day ones. So this That's is what's up. Course. You know I'm here. 100, man. Without shit. further ado, y'all, let's do it. Ooh, crank. Oh, shit. We finna get crank. Let's do it. Mmm. Yep, crank already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's it. Mmm. <laughs> That motherfucker cranked up, for real. And I ain't talking about the motor. Mm. My motherfucker mouth cranked up. Oh. So what in that car? Woo! Woo! De Niro. Yeah. What you think defines the Niro stacks? Nigga? What makes the Niro stacks the nigga? Um. Man, you know what? Because I always, <laughs> I always bring what I am to everybody. To, to do to a female, yeah, you gonna see me as much as you see it. Exactly what you gonna get. I don't give a fuck about yeah. the little pillow talking behind the sheets. I do, you know, what I'm talking about yeah. this raw right of me. But I walk in the building, it's you go I'm, when I go home, we'll be the same nigga. I you know, always got that about right you though. Yeah, right so, so, yeah, right I know right this nigga. Yep. That's real. So I, I, I can say that everybody in this room. So I walk, <laughs> in the room, I walk in the room with a couple women. At uh-huh. any point in time, wherever I go, and nobody. Things to trip or act out or nothing because they know it's the same thing that you that's you, that's you. Right that's the never right. yeah that's bro. so if I'm out with my bros or just uh-huh. fucked or fucked up with doing whatever I'm doing they you know you don't get the same, same thing, thing. You know, it's the same, same shit, shit. You, you know what I'm saying and that's what keep a nigga original for real that's that's how you do that I ain't gonna lie that sounds kind of creeping at the back of my throat man a lot of women yeah I mean I mean yeah because sometimes you got to but that's just on their look. You know, they look lovey dovey boys. Yeah. <laughs> but that, you know what I'm saying? But so, what'd you rate your heat level at about right about now? About an eight. Right and now. that motherfucker is, is turned up. Where's the trash? It feels feel like it's still trying to creep up back there. You know, it got, it got a creep of feeling. Uh-huh. For, uh, like, 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 like right now, my jaw wasn't doing shit. Now it's kind of trying to. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking me up. Oh my shit. Yeah, that's an eight and a half. An eight and a half? That's what's I up, y'all. Well, shit, we I'm running around the now about a man. We got a pile for real, and it's hot outside yeah. like the pile Woo! We got the hot hey. ones, last dab. Hey, and hey, y'all know what they do on hot ones, and you know, they help motivate this show. So, <laughs> <laughs> on, the last, on the last wing, you know, it's tradition around here, he say, to add a little dab to the last one. Oh, man, so right, here you go, up. man. Woo! It's gonna be bad, man. Nah, I ain't got the best camera, so my lips gonna be burning all night, man. Yeah, you been not? Yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all see that? I got a dab on them. Better believe I ain't, I ain't lying to y'all. No, y'all want to join the party? I can't be no punk, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, just a little dab. Hey, if y'all think you got the cojones, come on down to NBTV. My nose right. We can get you an interview. Really. We can set you an interview up. Well, and man, see, if you, and see cool. if you can make it through the lineup of hell. All right. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Well. Mm-hmm. Woo. There we go. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. So, what motivated you to want to do music to begin with? <coughs> Did you just wake up one day and just wanted to do music? <coughs> Did it run in your family? Woo, woo. Ooh, I got fake part. Woo. My auntie. My aunt Belva, my great <laughs> niece. Uh, a few other my relatives, my mom, and they was always in the choir oh, at the church. Wow. Woo! Damn. Yeah. Wow. So we I used to always sit back and watch how they would sing. Uh -huh. How the crowd would sing, we'd react to them when they would get done. Okay. Look, this is back in the country. Yeah. <laughs> I, I grew up in the country too, man. I love this living. Hey, if I made this channel blow up, that's where I'm moving back. So I said, I want to do that. But I can sing. You know, yeah. I want to be a singer. So by this time, rap music was already out. So I was listening to Eminem, Tech Nine, Brother Lynch Young, Sebo, X Rated. Okay. Louis Colleon. Um, yeah. See what's not. Line up lineup like mine. That's a uh, hell of a lineup. Mm. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, I said, well, damn, I can do that. Yeah, I can put some words to make them come together and sound like that. Uh huh. Okay, well, bet. Let me just start. Yeah, That's I can see that. Okay. I just started. I couldn't sing, but I wanted to do that. But they was doing my auntie and my mama was doing up on stage at the church. You know what I'm saying? So I said, well, <coughs> fuck it. I'm gonna just rap. Mm -hmm. About how old were you? Uh, about 13, okay. 14. Pretty cool, man. But I was That's young cool. in the country. I didn't have a little yeah. access to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I was like 16 or something. Yeah. It was weird. Well, and I ain't ever rap. You come from the ghetto and shit, it's easy. <laughs> you got shit to talk about. Hell yeah, yeah. Man, that was awesome, man. That was awesome. Man, if y'all need to get out here, don't look to narrow up. Everything that you need to know about him will be down in the description. Man, bro, is there anything else you want to let the world know yeah, about you? I don't know what's going on. Get out of here because you done, you done conquered the six wings of death. Like, you done knocked them out. It wasn't nothing. Man, yeah, anything man. else you want to tell the world? Uh, it's, uh, follow me. Uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube page. The Narrow Stacks. I'm going to be doing most shit with my bros right here. It's a lot coming, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah, man. Y'all know this don't it's, stop. This is only the beginning. Just stay tuned with me. Just follow me. Follow me on Instagram, yeah, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, oh. Snapchat. And I want to shout out uh, the some some, uh, some friends of mine down at the flea market that did my hair. Old Paris flea market. Old Paris flea market. And Kiana and it? Brittany down there at Old Paris flea market. Y'all go down there and get y'all shit done. 20 and up, I guess. And then whatever you want, they'll help you out with the price of dirt, too. So... Flea market every weekend, and you can get your done due. Let's believe, man. We upload still once a week, every week. We got a video up on YouTube. 